Now, what are hormones and how many types of hormones are present in our body? Hormones are chemicals released by a cell or a gland in one part of the body that sends messages and affect cells in other parts of the body. There are five important hormones present in our body. Adrenal hormone. The gland secreting adrenal hormone is over the upper end of the kidney. It looks like a cap on the kidney. It is secreted when a person is emotional, like laughing, <laughs> weeping, sad, happy, fear, or angry. During these situations, the heartbeat becomes faster and blood pressure increases and more adrenaline is secreted into the blood to adjust to sudden stress or situation. So stress can be removed by keeping our body in peace and eating healthy food. This hormone is also called an emergency hormone or flight or fight hormone. Thyroid hormone. Thyroid gland is present in the front of the neck region. Thyroid hormone is important for growth, development and fat metabolism. Thyroid gland needs optimum iodine in our nutrition to produce thyroid hormone. In our daily life, we take iodine in the form of iodized salt in our food. If we do not take balanced iodine in our diet, it may lead to symptoms of swollen neck called goiter. Growth hormone. It is secreted by the pituitary gland and present at the base of the brain. Growth hormone regulates the growth and development in the body. Sometimes we come across people who are either short called as dwarfs or extremely tall called as giants. Such defects show the effect of improper secretion of growth hormones. Sex hormones. These are secreted during puberty. For example, testosterone is secreted in males and estrogens is secreted in females. Pancreatic hormones. These are secreted in the pancreas and helps in regulating blood sugar level. If this hormone is not secreted in a proper amount, the sugar level in the blood rises, causing many harmful effects. In such cases, insulin is given from outside to replenish the sugar level. When we hear the word insulin, and we think that the patients are suffering from diabetes, Insulin is created in our body. It allows glucose to get into cells to provide energy. When we eat food, our body breaks food into glucose in our small intestine. Insulin is produced in the pancreas and when glucose enters in our bloodstream, the pancreas matches it with the right amount of insulin to move glucose into your cells. Pancreas in a diabetic patient are not producing enough insulin or sometimes the patient loses the ability to produce insulin. Accordingly, doctors advise them either to take less sugar or to take insulin injections. <laughs>